proud to give by present Dr. Vic Mackey for the department's highest honor for valor and courage under fire. Claudette, why are you not applauding? <laughs> I think this means you get a free pass around here. It's important that the public knows about our successes as well as our failures. <laughs> and Vic is both combined in one. What's your name? Patty Ann Hinkle. That's a pretty name. Thanks. Thanks. Where'd you get the gun? Home. I don't like it. Uh, she just stole her parents' gun? <laughs> that she even had access to it. <laughs> this is a fake. I, I, I got mugged. <laughs> I lost my badge in Tijuana. I never thought I'd end up back in L.A. What the hell else would you expect it to be Let's used? Let's all calm down. Where'd you get this one? It's a Serbian guy in Rose Hill. It's just like the real thing. No, huh? no, Officer <laughs> Vendrell, it's not. <laughs> you want us to catch this killer or not? Going undercover as dirty cops. You think you can pull that off? <laughs> You know, CIs are supposed to be registered and paid, man. Tell you what, here's a fence. Go buy yourself a taco. <laughs> it's a $50 box. <laughs> five million makes us go away. Well, five million mm -hmm. makes me laugh. I didn't do anything wrong. Did I mention we're also naming you as well as Officer Sofer in the civil suit? Mm -hmm. Think it over. <laughs> Well, that changes everything, doesn't it? For cops. Tim, give me the keys. I'd like to see a warrant. I'd like to see Anna Kornikova naked on a waterbed. Hmm. Yeah. Let's make that happen. Ballistics just got to hit on one of Vic's toys for guns. Well, maybe they'll give him a second medal. <laughs> Slug from a test fire matches up to an unsolved murder from last year. One of yours. It's probably the gun the kid brought in, huh? <laughs> you ever heard a rumor about a money train? What's a money train? Story goes it's like a rolling bank vault. It's super secret. Mm hmm. Super secret. Everyone knows about it. <laughs> so who do I make a deal with? No. Why not? Because we've already got the killer. This is where it ends. Hey, we got a line on the biggest Armenian mobster in LA. I'm not running a mob task force. You don't have to run it. You just have to watch. <laughs> the guy who was into Manny Sandoval for $50,000. Your gun killed him, so don't bother wasting our time with a bullshit excuse. Where'd you get my gun from? Your daughter traded it in. This guy says that you used racial epithets prior to arresting him. This is bullshit. You don't even remember the arrest. I'd remember that. Danny. Oh, all of a sudden. If you made any anti-Arab comments, I need to know now. Come on, be honest. You're sure? You brought up 9-11 with the guy you shot later on. Now we're waiting for the Armenian to call back? I said keep this simple. It is simple. Oh, uh, I need a raiding party at this address in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of simple, let's organize a writing party. Transferring Shane off the strike team. What? What? I see you're listening to me now. Shane is my partner. <laughs> I keep my nose clean, you keep your nose out of my business. Well, Shane didn't keep his nose clean, did he? So we're gonna find somebody who can. Either a black or a Latino. Someone who's already part of the show or someone entirely new? That was my idea. That's <gasps> In theory. But I don't have another spot open on my squad. David told me he was opening up a spot. He was mistaken. You'll get used to the idea. Oh, this bitch! Causing nothing but trouble. And meanwhile she's doing nothing. Nothing but coming up with these ideas. You want me to release a murderer so that his mob boss can kill him? It sounded a lot better the way Vic explained it to me. We're not gonna let Alex kill Rash. <laughs> oh, well, that's a relief. <laughs> We're gonna do it ourselves. <laughs> Got a suicide call, white male, twenties, just blew his head off. Perfect. I <laughs> need your clothes and your wallet. The hell is this? We found our candidate. <laughs> I thought you said he blew.
blew his face off. But that's what I was told. Well, what did he do, miss? He's totally recognizable. Jesus Christ, he's gonna be here any minute. Well, we have to change that, huh? <laughs> Go to my car and get my shotgun. What? Just do it! <laughs> yeah, that's better. Let's do one more. Just to be safe. He gets the money, we go. On my mark. Perhaps you can uh, help with some protection. Get ready. Hold, hold. Holding. Don't do this to me. Like with what? Let's talk someplace else. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hagob knows the addresses. He'll go with you and he'll stay here. Make sure he doesn't catch anything. <laughs> it would be interesting if the killer knew the kids wouldn't be in the house. Maybe to spare them the trauma. Which is odd, unless the killer knew them personally. Are you saying that I... Excuse me. <laughs> oh, come on, let him dig a bit. <laughs> she's not in this. Maybe it's just that simple. God damn it, she's not Marcy. Now you screwed up your case. Fine, it happens. But don't screw up mine. Take that back. <laughs> he was really insulted. <laughs> Next address. This one's not really anything, but since we're here, check it anyway. And this is? Not sure. Storage or something. Oh, that's the money train, hmm? <laughs> Where's Shane? He's working on that hooker's thing I told you about. Hooker's thing? Yeah, yeah, the hooker thing. Ratch? Jacob? Shit, oh. you're alive. <laughs> what time are you supposed to check in with Alex? What happens to Shane if you don't? Instead of playing poker, you should be playing poker. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Exactly 10 seconds. Go to the John. Now say wrong number and hang up. Wrong number. Play it cool, dude. Oh, he can't do these kind of things. <laughs> Got a chop shop on Newman, a cigarette stash from Merrick, a few others. Uh, something mysterious on Escanita. We'll check that out. Something to do with the money train? It's probably just a jerk off. We'll let you know. <laughs> Are you really just letting him go to the mystery location when a money train is involved? Dude, seriously. What do you want to do? If only Lemon and Ronnie were here, huh? <laughs> Why didn't you report this earlier? I don't know. I didn't know my rights. But you do now. Why are you even asking questions? What is this shit? You told him that if he filed a formal complaint, you'd represent him for free in his own civil suit. Our case doesn't depend on him. I'm here to discuss your counteroffer. Well, here it is. Nothing. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> we have a wrongful entry, an innocent man, and a grieving widow. And I've got a decorated officer who's fighting to keep this city safe during very troubled times. I look forward to a jury settling this. We'll be in touch. Hmm. I bet. We'll never hear from you again, dude. <laughs> I'll call for backup. No. What? We're gonna let it go. Why? We're gonna let it go. <laughs> but we come back for it later, I guess. When the whole team is present. I can't lie anymore. <laughs> I got you to take out Cummings. You don't think I can arrange that if you thought it'd be next? Use your head. I didn't need a confession. <laughs> I was about to say, why are they putting them next to each other? <laughs> hey Vic, we hit the mother load. Credit cards, digital cameras, phony passports. Wow, jackpot, dude. <laughs> I envy you. You can't really be talking about making off. With the Armenian mob's entire Western U.S. kitty. Goddamn Eastern heroes can't keep track of their own plutonium. <laughs> you think I'm gonna trust them with our cold hard cash? 
this can only backfire. Don't have enough enough men for that. We sympathize with your loss. If you did, you would have signed those papers and given me a piece and a chance for my baby. We'll never know his father because of you. <laughs> I'll never forget what you do. I'm sure you have pictures of him. I didn't do right? anything wrong. Yes, you did. <laughs> birthday cake? Yeah. Oh, it's somebody's birthday. Somewhere. <laughs> Before you got hurt, you uh, you said you'd leave the house. You're good enough to go back to work um, as soon as you could find a place. Off to the next motel.